In this tutorial, we're going to look at installing and uninstalling Drupal themes. We'll start by taking a look at the Appearance Administration page and the various configuration options that are available to us from there. Then, we'll use the page to install and uninstall a theme, including downloading a theme from Drupal.org. Finally, we'll set an administration theme, or at least see how we could change the administration theme if we wanted to so that the administration pages on our site use something other than the default 7 administration theme. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to install a new theme into your Drupal project, uninstall an existing theme, and change the theme used for administrative pages. Starting from the homepage of our Drupal site, while logged in as an administrator, we'll navigate to the Appearance tab. The Appearance page is protected by the Administer Themes permission, so only users in a role with that permission will be able to navigate to this page and perform the various theme management tasks that we're about to do. This page is the gateway to administering themes and theme-related configuration for our site. What you're seeing right now is a list of all the themes that the current Drupal instance was able to find. These are the themes that are already installed or could be installed on our site. The list is separated into installed themes at the top and uninstalled themes at the bottom. You can see right now, we've got the themes that come with core available. Bardic and Seven are installed and Stark is not. Across the top of the page are three tabs, list, update, and settings. Clicking the update tab takes us to a page which gives us a list of any themes that need updating on our site. There aren't any currently, though, if any of the sites that we had installed from Drupal.org needed a security update or other update, they would be listed here. This page should be checked periodically when using contributed themes to ensure everything is up to date and secure. Clicking on the Settings tab takes us to a page where we can configure global settings, settings that will apply to all themes across our entire site. From here, you can toggle some features like whether or not to display a logo for your site on and off. Back on the list or main appearance page, you can also click the settings link next to any installed theme, like this one here under Bartek. This will take you to a page where you can override the global settings on a per theme basis. Different themes will have different theme specific settings as well. Those can be configured from here. It's a good idea to take a look at this page anytime you install a new theme. At the top here, you'll see the theme specific settings for Bartek, followed by a copy of the global settings that we saw before. Any changes that I make here would override the global settings whenever the Bartek theme is in use. Let's go back to the main appearance page and talk about installing a new theme. To install a theme, you first need to obtain the files and place them into your Drupal project. Themes can be downloaded from Drupal.org. As an example, we'll download the Mayo theme from drupal.org slash project slash mayo. I'm just gonna download the current stable version. So at the time of recording, this is 8x.1.1. I'll download the zip file. Once that file's been downloaded, I can switch over to my finder. And in my finder, I can expand the zip file and I'll be presented with a directory which contains the files that make up the mayo theme. I need to move these files into the appropriate place in my Drupal project so that Drupal will find them. So for me, that's going to be in the themes directory in the root of Drupal. I'm also going to create a directory here, a subdirectory. We'll name it contrib. This isn't required, but it's a good way to help keep things organized. Putting themes downloaded from drupal.org into a directory named contrib and themes downloaded or created by ourselves into a directory named custom. Now let's switch back over to our site. Back on our site, on the Appearance tab, once again, I can click Refresh. Every time you view this page, Drupal performs a scan for any theme located in one of the various themes directories. So you'll see that this time, it's located the Mayo theme that we just placed into our Drupal themes root directory. I can install this theme by clicking the Install link, or I can install and set default. The difference here is that whatever theme is set as the default is the one that will be presented to users of our site when they view things like the home page. Let's take a look at our home page quick. Right now, the home page of our site is using the Bardic theme. 
So if we were to look at the Appearance tab, we'd note that Bardic is installed and set to default. Back on the Appearance tab, if I click Install and Set as Default next to the Mayo theme, we'll get a message displayed at the top that confirms that the theme was installed and set as default. I can confirm this by scrolling down and looking under Installed Themes, and sure enough, there's the Mayo theme, and it has the default theme flag next to the title here. If I switch back to our home page and hit refresh, you'll see that it's using the new theme we just installed. Installing a new theme is really that easy. Pretty awesome. There's a few other things to know about managing themes. Let's go back to the appearance page again. Notice that Bardic is still installed. We're not using it, so we might as well uninstall it. This can be done by simply clicking the uninstall link here. There's no harm in keeping it installed, but it's also not being used for anything at the moment, so we'll uninstall it. You can confirm that it was uninstalled uh, with the message displayed at the top here. Additionally, you might also have noticed that the 7 theme is installed, and it's marked as the admin theme. Note how changing the default theme to Mayo didn't have any effect on admin pages like the one we're looking at currently. That's because Drupal has an admin theme feature, which allows you to optionally designate a theme to be used for administrative pages. If you scroll down to the bottom here, you can see where this is happening. By default, Drupal sets 7 as the admin theme. If you want to change it, you can do so here. You can also install a new theme and use that as the admin theme if you want something different. Only themes that have been installed can be used as an admin theme. Installing a theme and setting it to default means the theme is the one that will be presented to the public. And that's how you manage installed and uninstalled themes in Drupal. In this tutorial, we took a tour of the Appearance Administration page. We talked about using the Updates tab to recognize when a theme that you've got installed may need a security update, and we looked at the Settings tab and the global settings that it provides. Then we installed a new theme, Mayo, by downloading it from Drupal.org and placing it into the appropriate directory in our Drupal project, and then uninstalled the Bardic theme. Finally, we learned about the concept of administration themes. By default, Drupal uses the 7 administration theme, though we saw how we could change that if we ever wanted to.